What's up, guys? John here. Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, you'll see me and my beautiful wife, Sharice, coming at you guys with awesome topics and things that will hopefully entice, enhance, and promote your relationship to a whole new level. And you know what? If you're not in a relationship at this time, don't worry, because you're right around the corner from finding your perfect one. You never know when that perfect companion is going to be right next to you and you might just talk to him and you might just live the rest of your life with him but some people it just doesn't happen like that either you so you guys will get lucky you guys will get lucky i promise you guys I'm sure just don't go looking don't for go it. looking for it <laughs> and cupid will shoot you with that arrow ah keep it corny like yeah, that yeah it leaves a little mark though that's okay <laughs> That's okay. A nasty little bruise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll feel good. It's all that matters. Yes. So, you know, obviously this week we've got an awesome event that's coming up. What is that event, you think? Um, This thing, like, they, they got, like, eggs. And then they got, like, they got these ears. You're talking about Easter? Yeah, Easter! <laughs> Easter. So, it's yeah. all about chocolate. This is a whole other. This is oh, a whole. Is that what Easter's about? Easter's all about chocolate. Oh. I'm totally kidding. I'm kidding. Valentine's Day is all about chocolate. <laughs> okay. I hate chocolate. For I the Valentine's record. Day, I, I thought Valentine's Day was more roses. No, it's chocolate and just it's it, it, me and me. And Let's just get that out. She doesn't like chocolate. That's no, it's it repulsive. Is. So yeah, yeah. No, it's not no about Cadbury chocolate. eggs for her, huh? It's not about chocolate. What about the chicks? You want the chicks? I don't want any chicks. Oh. I don't want any chicks. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not down with the chicks. She likes the mushy marble. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all about to spend time with your family. And what's it? What's it really about? So Easter, Easter. Obviously, you know, if if you guys do or have a religious background, Catholic, Christian, usually. Obviously, we know what you know what Easter is, right? Yeah, I would that's hope so. East, that's when you know Jesus has risen, right? Christ has risen, right? Mm -hmm. And in Greek, we go Christos Anestis. Christos Anestis. Christos Anestis. Right? That means Christ has risen. I can say it know? now after a decade. So you know, this is a big time for a lot of families around the country, right? And, you know, mostly promoted as a holiday, I think it's more Americanized, where we have the Easter Bunny, and you go searching for the eggs, and people get Easter baskets. Teddy right? bears, they got all this cool stuff, yeah, you know. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. It, it, this is all awesome, okay, and this tradition. And yeah. tradition is important, especially to our country, because it's one of... One of our many traditions. We'll see that we how long here. the tradition stays for. And you, it, listen, whether you're religious or you're not religious, everybody I think likes Easter to a certain Everybody extent. likes bunnies, right? They're cute. Yeah, and that, that put a softer side to things. You know, it really did. I mean, bunnies are cool, right? I, I, I had a, the fortunate, I was fortunate enough to have a bunny when I was a kid growing up. Yeah. And I only had it for a short time because when my dogs got in the cages and ripped them apart. John said he likes animals. You fed your animals to the animals? I didn't animals? feed them, no. The dog <laughs> got in there and got to it. And I was really, really upset about it. Oh, I was, I was a sure. kid, and I didn't like to see this. You know, I, I actually seen my dead rabbit, and I was like, oh, my God. I thought the world was going to end. Oh, my God. It's you know, terrible. For kids to see it, it I've never heard this story. Like, but, going back to the positive things on Easter. But but that's life, too, right? And <laughs> exactly. That, and that, and that's, that's what we got. We got to love life, too, because it's all in cycles. Anyway, but back to Easter. I mean, listen. You know, you can take your kids out. You can enjoy a fun Easter egg hunt with your kids. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is about spending time with your family, your loved ones. And if, if you are, you know, of a religious background, obviously, you're excited because Christ is risen, right? This is a big thing. And usually, you know, Good Friday is on Friday. No the me. kids got, you know, they got they got out of school on Friday because of Good Friday. And, um, you know, for us Greeks, what we do, we sustain and we wouldn't eat any meat until after the service. Uh, you know of Greek Easter and at that point that Greek was Easter is not usually on Easter of American Easter it's usually it's yes. usually the weekend after so even in this year next week is Greek Easter so we get two Easter's when we're Greek right so I love being Greek I'll because be a, it's just it involves a lot of food I'll be at the baseball <laughs> tournament so I'm, I'm gonna put Greek Easter and American Easter on the same holiday this year which is this Sunday okay it's an uh, amazing day obviously I'm a believer in uh, Christ, and Christ is risen. That's an awesome thing for me. And at that point, we can eat a lot of meat Sunday night. I'm really bad about that, I'll be honest. I eat meat every day. And, every and day. I, I don't sustain Morning from not eating meat. Morning and night. So I am bad in that aspect, yeah, I guess. Yeah, he's going to eat it no matter what. You know? but, but I'm good in all the other different ways, so hopefully I'm making it up to God, and he's loving me in the same light. Well, you know, the way I see it, though, as I've gotten older, though, you know, because when you're younger, I mean, we used to take Peter 
and do these Easter egg hunts. Cool one. The best one oh. ever. Best one ever was the one where like they had a helicopter that would drive over, like you know, they would fly, fly over. over this big field, right? It's like almost like and a football would, field. Yeah, and they would put all the children, right? And they would block them all <sighs> off, the right? Sidelines. And all the children are waiting with their little baskets like this. You got someone with, like with the little bags, like bags. Yeah. Waiting. And so what happened is they would go and they they would drop the eggs yes. from the sky. Yes. D- like, I'm like, Helicopter fly by. I was like, wait, I, I didn't down. know when the bunny all of a sudden got wings, but, you know, the bunny the got bunny was wings. flying a helicopter, man. So, you know, they, they, they would drop all these eggs, and then they would let the children loose on these eggs, and you would just run and get as many eggs as you possibly yeah. can, right, yeah. without trampling other children. Yeah. Of course, you know, me being the awesome mom that I am, I made sure Peter got as many eggs as possible, and yeah. nobody trampled. Peter. And, that, and that's, that's that's something that's coming back that's really cool, right? Easter egg hunts used to be like a staple of Easter, especially for kids, like all different places, churches, all these different different places would have Easter egg hunts. And obviously these last couple of years because of COVID, they haven't been mm-hmm. able to do this. Yeah, that's We've cool. taken that little part portion away of Easter just from our kids. Yeah, uh, and, and that, you know, I understand the, the meaning of Easter, so I'm not going to say that's all about Easter, but for the kids that you know, they understand religion to a certain extent, but they really don't get it yet, I don't think, because their, their minds aren't fully developed so all the, the way. So the least you can do is um, maybe enhance the, this is a family day. It's a know? family day, for sure. And, and this is when you get to have your mom over and your dad over Absolutely. and everybody gets together as a family. It's almost like a Thanksgiving, yeah. you know? being grateful it makes you think being grateful you know and like i said as i've gotten older throughout the years minus the helicopter because that was cool i wanted to go easter that was hunting. cool i mean i, I want to go easter and see these cool. eggs fall from the sky you know but i mean it's because i'm you know a believer in god every day it just it really is just another day for me yeah. to believe in god and appreciate god and thank god for everything i have and everything i'm blessed with because absolutely. i am incredibly blessed absolutely Blessed, blessed to be here and blessed to be a part of uh, another Easter that's coming up. Blessed to be healthy. Um, you know, every day you should, you know, you should say your blessings for sure. You know, you know be grateful for what you have. Um, you know, Easter is just another day that makes you recognize these things and should make you recognize these things. And when you're apart, you know, by your family, you know, that, that should be one of your most important things because family is everything to me. Um, it, it is to a lot of people out there. Some people it's not, and I, I don't understand how it's not, but it isn't. So... You know, I think that's a core value that everybody should, you know, take in. And, and maybe if family's not your strongest point or you don't have family per se, I know a lot of people, you know, that never had a family before. So it's, it's really important. So when you do, be grateful for what you have. You know, or those little things like that are, are, is everything. Mm-hmm. You know, so Easter is a great holiday. It's not just about bunnies and Easter eggs. It's about family time, enjoying each other, and, and really getting into the spirit of things, right? And if you're religious... You know, thanking Christ has risen. That's a beautiful thing. Yep. Right? Yes. All right. So that's it, guys. Another great show from me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. We'll see you guys next Sunday, 11 a.m., Cupid's Corner, ABC, every Sunday. If you guys missed it, DVR it. And if you didn't do that, don't worry. We got your back. Go to YouTube right now. Type in Type Medical Center and watch all these great episodes. And you guys can also check out our podcast, Titan Lifestyle. Type it in anywhere where we can download podcasts and you'll love every single bit of it. I promise. We'll see you guys next week. Yep. We'll see you then.